Hi guys! Today I am doing a video um, based off of a look I posted on Instagram like months ago. It's a little bit different but it's my Hulk inspired look and I am so excited because I was watching the Avengers last night and I was like, I want to do my Hulk look. So this is the look that I came up with and it's got the purples and the greens and all of that type of stuff. Um, the Hulk is probably one of my favorite comic book characters, superheroes. He is one of my favorite Avengers. Ever since I was a little kid, I used to watch the rerun, the reruns of Lou Ferrigno as the Hulk. And I don't know, I just, I love the Hulk. I don't even know why. Um, so this is really kind of awesome to do. Um... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you want to see how to do this look, then keep watching. Bye. Okay, so the first thing I've already done was prep my face with my moisturizer and my primer. It's important to do that before you do your eyes so it has a chance to sink into your skin. So I'm going to prime my eye now. This will help the eyeshadow last longer and just help the colors that we're going to be putting on be more vibrant. And because we're putting color underneath, you want to make sure to put some underneath the eye too. And now because we're going to be using bright colors, I'm just going to be taking a white base and putting that on the lid. And then just taking my finger and blending it out. And I'm going to blend it out really high because we're going to be putting the colors up really high. You can put some underneath when you start to do the underneath of your eye, but I'm not getting there yet. So, first off, I am going to take a pigment that's kind of duochrome if you can see in there. And I'm just taking a little bit of a mixing medium in the lid, just to kind of make it a little bit more, like, pigmented. And I'm just taking it on a small little brush. And I am putting that in my inner corner. Just blending it. I found sometimes the best way to blend your inner corner is by taking your ring finger and pressing it. It's the easiest way i found to blend that kind of color in that spot. Because sometimes it is tricky to find a brush that will do that. Okay. Now once you have that done, I'm going to map out my cut crease that I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be taking an eyeliner that matches the color. It's just a purple one. And I'm going to do that. Starting from where the um, inner corner highlight ends and... Just kind of sweeping it. Now it's completely optional. It just kind of gives you a guideline. It's going to look messy, but we're going to clean that up later. So now I'm going to take the same brush that we did the in a corner highlight with as I drop it. Um, it's important with doing this look to use kind of the same brush because then you mix the colors a little bit and it helps it to blend easier. I'm going to be taking a color that's a little bit darker than the inner corner highlight and I'm just going to be taking that on the same brush and patting it right about quarter of the way on the lid. Just pressing it into that way. I'm 
Okay, now I'm going to be taking a color that's a little bit darker on the same brush. And I'm just going to put that in the center of the lid. That is going to act as a transitional color for the dark matte green that I'm going to be using. Putting that on the same brush. Now, I chose a small brush like this, if you can see, so I can kind of control the shadow um, below that line that we made for the crease. And I'm just going to pat it, and this is where the blending gets really important. Okay, now that we have the color placement down, it kind of looks like a hot mess, but that's okay. Because you're going to take all three colors that you just used, not the inner corner color, but all the three colors you just used, and go back and just kind of fill them in and blend it until you can get like a seamless blend like you have on this eye. So I'm just going to take all three colors and just go back and do that. So that is it for the green. If you get a little bit of stuff underneath here, we're going to be cleaning it up later, but you can clean up as you go along. Just kind of take a Q-tip and clean up. Okay, for the purple, we're going to be doing the same process, except working upwards. So that's basically it. I'm going to be using, if I can find it... Just a little small crease brush for this. And I'm going to be starting with the darkest purple first and then working my way up and doing basically the same process I did on the lid. So I'm just going to be taking a dark purple on it. And your first line is going to be your most crucial. So you're going to want to... I hold my lid down very lightly just because for some reason when I do my makeup, my eyelid doesn't like to stay completely closed. If you can keep your lids completely closed, that's fine. I know a lot of you have wondered why I hold my eyelid down. That is why. But, yeah. So, I'm just going to take it and kind of draw back in the line that I did with the... Okay, now once you have that down, I'm going to take a color that's a little bit lighter than that purple that I just used on the same brush. I'm going to go back and put it right, kind of mixing it right like there, and then just bringing it up further. It's going to look like a hot mess at first, but I assure you it's going to clear up and kind of even out. I've learned the best way to kind of do the fade is by taking a clean Q-tip and in between every color, just like running it, not removing it, but just kind of rubbing it on the edges. And it helps kind of create a seamless blend. An even lighter purple. Now, I know you, you probably going to, like, I can't see the difference, but if you line them all up 
clip together, you'll see how it like fades, but I mean, I'm just gonna run that on the ends. And then do the same thing with my Q-tip and just help blend it. Another good way to blend out the shadow is by taking your face powder on a fluffy brush and taking it up so the brow bone is and just kind of sweeping it down in little sweepy little motions. I don't know if there's a technical term for that, I just say sweeping little motions. And that will help create a nice little gradient. Now, if you lost the color in the cut crease, you can just take an angled brush and go back into that first initial color that you used and very, very carefully just re-outline it. Use it as your highlight. I'm actually going to take that cream color I used earlier and do that first. Blend it out with my finger into the purple. And then I'm going to go in with the matte white and just kind of set it. So, matte white on a brush and just kind of Sweep it into purple. Okay, now I have cleaned up all the fallout, well most of the fallout, and now I'm going to take my little small brush again and go back into the greens and go darkest, like kind of what I did on the lid but on the bottom lash line. I'm just going to connect with the dark green with that. After we're done doing that, it is time for the upper lash line. I'm just going to be taking a liquid liner and creating a wing. I'm actually going to be doing this out of... Um, frame because I have to get really really close to the mirror but I've learned that if you take your liquid liner put a little bit of it on a palette and then take an angled brush like this you can get really really close and that's how I help to do my wing liner I am not the greatest person to be doing wing liner I kind of suck at it but I've learned that this method helps me the most so I'm going to go do that and I will be right okay back. once your face is done I'm gonna work on like blush and contouring and stuff this is probably the best thing to do after you do your eyes with your foundation and stuff because if you have a colorful eye like this you might have a lot of fallout and you don't want to mess up your nice foundation and all that stuff you just did so to contour i'm just taking a concealer that's a little bit like two shades darker than my skin tone then i'm just kind of placing it where I want to contour. I've been doing this a lot lately. I just like the way that it works out. And then I'm going to be taking a stippling brush and just blending it. I don't know why, I just really, really like the way this looks as a contour color. It looks like, not more natural, but just, I don't know, I like it. Itchy eyebrow, itchy eyebrow. As, just to kind of set that cream color. And does add a little bit more to it. 
because when you have cream colors, you want to set it with a kind of powder so it stays in place. look is really kind of in your face bright. I wanted to kind of keep the face kind of toned down too, so I'm just taking a blush that's like a rosy kind of like brownish pink and I'm just popping that on the apples of my cheeks and swooping it back for blush. A highlight on the same um, brush and just placing it right there, right kind of where the sun would naturally hit you and make you glowy. I love my skin to look glowy. Okay, so this is the dark kind of purple lip with it. I like it personally better with this. You can go for the nude lip if you want, but I don't know. I just kind of like how it ties together and looks kind of badass, like Hulk smash ish. <laughs> If that's even a word. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, thumbs it up. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.